Okay gang, as you can see my rear diff's getting a little wet around the rim and it's time to check the diff fluid so I'm going to crawl my butt under here and take a peer how the fluid looks. And this is just a half inch ratchet to take the plug out. Looks like my plug's leaking just a wee bit. And as you notice, it's draining down the face. It's full yet. And as you can see, the color's starting to darken on the fluid. So it might be a good idea to change it out be fresh for the season of towing. All right, well give me a moment to set up and we'll start changing this out. Okay, I got all my tools dug out, my waste bucket. I had to jack the truck up just a little bit so I can clear my bucket. So now we'll get on with it, get this pumpkin opened up so we can drain it out. And the cover bolts, at least for mine, are 9 16 So I'm gonna use an air ratchet just to speed things up a little bit. Backup lights are just a piece of angle iron. I usually just tuck them up out of the way so they don't get in my way while I'm working. for a moment until the compressor shuts up. Okay, the compressor finally got quiet there. A little slow to charge, but it works for me. Now, as you saw me come around, there is a tag there. Just drop it in the bucket. Thank God there's nothing really in here. But this tag has got all your information of the gear ratio and stuff on it, so highly suggestible you keep it and put it back on the pumpkin so if you ever need it do service to your pumpkin like ring and pinion, you've got it. I'm going to take a pop right about here. Let's see if I can get this sucker break open. There she goes. The little silicone holds pretty good. Ooh. Try to keep the mess to a, mess to a minimum. I'll show you something here in a second once I get this drained down and pop the lid. And as you can see, it's fairly dark in color. The truck gets used for an awful lot. Now, 
the reason why I'm taking a moment here is on this plug you can see the metal or wear metals off the gears and stuff and there's a little bit there it's about 25,000 miles worth of wear but nothing to be scared or crazy about just basically wipe it off and clean it up there's another reason why I brought this towel out too because I know I reach in and scrape out all the lube I can possibly get out of this cracker. There's little crevices and stuff that just hold it all. And thankfully enough, I got my tripod out today so I don't have to hold the camera because I sure don't want to touch it with these grimy hands now. Now, pretty much got most of it out. It's still drooling and dribbling, but so we'll let that do its thing. It's going to take a little bit for all that to come down. But just looking at the differential, it looks pretty darn good. And what I'll do is. Zoom in. Try not to touch my camera with this greasy hand I got. Now, a little bit of learning curve while this sucker is draining out here. You can see the ring. And just left to the ring, there's like a kind of like a gear tube sitting there. That's the exciter wheel for the speedometer sensor on top of the pumpkin. It's used for the ABS control as well as the uh, speedometer itself inside the cab. Uh, a lot of times uh, when there's an ABS light, the sensor in the back it fails. It either breaks off internally and just falls in the pumpkin. But I've seen a couple of reports now from others where they said they've seen that the ring has either been damaged or it just broke in half. So when you got a speed sensor problem, it might be worth, you know, looking into that. But no, I do not have a limited slip pumpkin. This is just a standard axle. So Let me set this back over where I had it, so it's out of my way. And let me get the diff cover out and clean that up a little bit and I'll get back onto the reassembly. Okay, I went ahead and got everything cleaned up. Cleaned up the cover here. trash back in it. So as you can see I cleaned all the face up the best I can on the differential. And now all we gotta do is slide it back up in there and place it. Is start putting in bolts. Nothing too hard to do in a differential fluid change. Silicone on the tip of that. And it looks like eventually one of these days I gotta think about painting my differential cover. It's getting kind of thin on the paint and starting to rust. Not exactly one of my important things. It's more about keeping the trucker rolling than it is painting the diff cover. 
Oops, we got the power back. So I'm going to put a light back in that hole. So, I'm going to bow the body. Okay, like I said before, here's that tag. Wipe off real quick. It goes back over here. tools at this point to put it all back together. And as for the ceiling, I just use standard old clear silicone on the back of this. It seems to be the easiest to clean up. It does seal just fine. It's not like the stuff that Mopar put on here or the Dodge dealer on my first diff change at 30 thou. They took an act of Congress to make it come off. That's all there is to it. Now all I gotta do is cut my mess and go get the gear loop and reload it. So hopefully that helped you on changing your diff fluid on your truck and maybe I'll get another few more members up to a million miles. Alright, bye. Okay. Well, I went ahead and got it loaded up with lubricant. And how I get it loaded up is I load it just enough and it either just spills out a little bit or you can see I can just barely dip my pinky in there and get a little bit of my pinky and this is much much cleaner so it's right there to the rim of the hole and like I said I normally will load them just enough that it'll dribble out just ever so slightly so when I do basic inspections it's just real quick you just loosen up the plug tilt it a little bit lubricant comes out you sample it on your finger and see what the colors like put the cap back on so you know you're loaded you're good you get a little sample you can see if it's got metal or it's discolored or it's got water in it then you know you're set for another period of time until you do your next inspection I like to inspect my pumpkin every month or so because of the extreme seasons we get frost I travel through creeks uh, it just goes through an awful lot of you know undesirable environments so it's just best to look and check and make sure it's in good shape alrighty well I'm gonna cap this up and put the truck away so I'm pretty much done